Hi everybody, it's Jay Morielli, P-Brain LLC. I'm a uh, finalist for the Element 14 Forget Me, Mo Forget Me Not Design Contest, and my first uh, component has arrived today. It appears to be a Raspberry Pi in Ocean Pi sensor kit, and we're going to do an unboxing here. So, uh, it's a nice box, standard shipping container. Just cut the tapes here. Move the packing material of the packing list. And wow, it's pretty well stuck. Okay, the first item. is a sensor kit for the Raspberry Pi. Open this. Got a regulatory compliance paper. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, we're gonna set the box aside. And we've got a sensor here. Before we open this, we should put our ESD thing on. Ooh. Oh, how nice. It's very small. Let's see if we're in focus here. And the solar cell in one side. Probably the chip here, the battery, capacitor, antenna, and the little connector. It's all a lot smaller than it looks on the data sheet. All right. I really can't tell what model this is yet. I'll have to get out the magnifying glass and look at it. Now this is the other kind. Oh, see, this one has the spring antenna and no connector. Oh, this has got the reed switch on it. And the solar cell. Excellent. Oh, look at that. This must be... This must be the switch sensor. All right, let's go to the next one. Like this. Okay, this says that it's in Ocean Pie. Like we have some instructions on antenna layout. There's the sent the uh, radio module, transmitter receiver module, and the connector for the Raspberry Pi little antenna. Raspberry Pi. Hmm. 
Now this has uh, got the Raspberry Pi logo, Element 14 logo. Mod oh, it's the Model B Plus. Oh, this should be interesting. All right, let's see what happens here. And we also have some regulatory and safety information. Set that aside for later. Ooh, Raspberry Pi. Oh, very nice. You can see the 40 pin connector here. You can see the two USB ports here, the Ethernet port there. This is the HDMI port. This is probably the audio connector. Here's the power connector. It's nice. I like the fact that they turn this so that if you build a box, you can put the all these connectors facing on the, these two edges and have um, room to build out over here. And then it's like these connectors are for cameras. So now the question is, will the Raspberry Pi B Oh, look at that. It does slide on. I'm guessing this is where it goes because that would be... See the square pin right here is pin 1. So you can't put anything else on the Raspberry Pi B, but that's all right because you have the extra USB port so I don't need a hub, external hub. So that's really awesome. So I can't wait to fire this up and see how it works. So that's the configuration here you get the Raspberry Pi you get the two sensors which are so neat and tiny let's move this antenna down so it looks like it'll be a great great collection here now okay so it looks like we need a memory card and maybe a Wi-Fi adapter so that we can connect wirelessly to the network all right, well, that's it for now, and I'll try to do another video with some more details and a little more precision. This is just for the unboxing. Okay, take care.